Dreallday.com. What's up, everybody? Dre Ball and DreAllDay.com. We're here for the next installment of the What Should I Do series. This question is coming from Matthew. He says, Dre, I'm grinding really hard to get better at basketball, but I'm always stuck in a situation where the guy I'm playing against is bigger and taller than me. I play power forward so I could use some guidance. What should I do? Now, Dev, there's a guy named Dev. I actually know Dev. He responded to this question. I have no idea why Dev did that. Dev, don't do that. And he said, I'm not Dre, but I would say become proficient with both hands, create scoring angles with your body, boxing out are a couple of good places to start. Rebounding is about will and determination and not talent. And Matthew said, thanks, Dev, for that information. Well, Matthew, I got news for you. The information Dev gave you is not the information that you need. Now, Dev, what he said is pretty uh, generic, which is why I tell people not to respond to the comments that people leave for me because I'm going to tell you something that you probably wouldn't hear from most people. And that's the reason why I'm the one making these videos and not in the comments. So, Matthew, here's what you really need to know. You're playing against players who are bigger and taller than you, and you want to get better at basketball. That's the only information you're giving me. Your position doesn't matter. So they're bigger and taller than you, you want to get better at basketball. Here's the first thing that you need to understand, Matthew. Any competition you go into in life, I don't care what you're doing, I don't care if you never play a sport again for the rest of your life, any competition you go into, if you are focused on what the opponent is doing, you're focused on what they're good at, you're focused on why they're bigger than you, why they're better than you, why they got more experience than you, why the fans are cheering for them, why they have more talent, why they might win, why you can't beat them, why they have all the advantages, you are already setting yourself up to lose. You might as well just pack it up and go home before the game starts, before the competition starts, before you make your presentation, before you make your sales pitch. You do not go into competitions thinking about what the other guy is doing and then expecting to win. It doesn't work like that. I made a video, I talked about one of the earlier what should I do's where we're talking about purchase orders to the universe. If your purchase order to the universe is you wanna get better at basketball, like you said, you are, you are right after that negating your purchase order and canceling your purchase order to the universe by telling me that the guy you're playing against is bigger and stronger than you and taller than you and it's just not working out for you. I'm assuming that you're not having the success that you want, which is the reason why you're asking me this question. You just negated your purchase order. Yes, maybe the guy is bigger than you and taller than you and you're not getting better as much as you want to. Here's the thing. You got to get yourself in a mental state that you're focused on you, that your game gets to the point. First of all, the mental state. First of all, you got to be completely focused on you. Don't focus on the opponent. I don't care how good they are, how big they are, how tall they are. Focus on yourself. Focus on yourself and focus on what you want your game to be. So figure out where you see yourself. Where do you see yourself as a basketball player? What skills are you going to have? What are you going to be able to do on the court? How are you going to make your teammates feel? How are you going to make the people watching the game feel? How do you want somebody to feel after they see you play? What do you want people to say? Like, damn, that guy fill in the blank. What do you want people to say about your game? Focus on that because when you do that, you know what you're doing. You're putting everything on you. These are all things that you control. You're putting all the focus on yourself. Once you start focusing on outside factors, the other guy being bigger, the other guy being taller, the coach, the fans, the refs, now you're taking the, you're taking the situation out of your hands. The more you put it outside of yourself, the less control you have. And if you want to be dominant, you want to get better at a sport like basketball, you have to put yourself in control of as many things as possible, which means complete focus on yourself because you have 100% control of yourself at all times. Yes, of course, you want to be good dribbling with both hands. Of course, you want to be able to create scoring angles with your body. Of course, you want to be able to box out and grab rebounds. Listen, Matthew, you didn't come to me to learn that. All right, You can learn that from any fool on YouTube. You can learn that from any bum on the street or any clown at the local rec center or at the park. Anybody can tell you that. All right, That's not news to you, is it? I don't think so. What you really need is some more advanced information, which is stop focusing on the opponent. I don't care how big the other guy is. I don't care how tall the other guy is. Think about this. When I, would, I read books on Michael Jordan, I'm sure a lot of you have read about Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan would say, he said many times, when he goes into games, when he went into games, he's not thinking about the other guy. He might look at the other guy and say, okay, tonight I'm playing against Magic Johnson. Tonight I'm playing against Karl Malone. Tonight I'm playing against Clyde Drexler. 
He might he knows who the opponent is, but when he's going into a game, he's not thinking about all right. Well, Kyle Drexler does this, so I got to do this, or Patrick Ewing is going to be right here, so I got to do this move. Michael Jordan focused on himself. Michael Jordan said, "Okay, these are the situations I'm probably going to face in this game. Okay, now I know these are the situations I'm going to face. These are the shots I know I'm going to get. Now let me completely focus on me." He put maybe 5% of his focus on who the opponent is because he would make slight adjustments based on the opponent. And then everything else, the other 95% was all about Michael. I'm focused on me because when Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan would say, Tony Robbins once said, I talked to Michael Jordan, Tony Robbins, the life coach, the speaker. He says, you know, I asked Michael, why is it that you're so good? How are you so much better than everybody else? And Michael said, is not necessarily a skill thing. It's because I have standards that are so much higher than anyone else. I don't go out every day and compete against Clyde Drexler and Magic Johnson and Scottie Pippen and Gary Payton. I don't compete against them. I compete against what my best could be. I'm focused on me being better today than I was yesterday. I'm not focused on being better than Clyde Drexler. I'm focused on being better than me. And my standards are that high. That's why Michael Jordan won six championships. Look at his contemporaries. None of them was even close except Magic Johnson. None of those other guys in the 90s were close to him. So why did he keep winning championships? He could have won one and he already had Barkley, Ewing. He had Gary Payton. He had Malone. He had Stockton. He had Drexler. At that point, he had all of them beat with one championship. So why did he have to win another one and another one and then three more after that? Why did he do that? Because he wasn't competing against them. He was competing against himself. What does that have to do with you, Matthew? Yes, of course you need skills. You need to work on your game so you have skills. But again, you didn't come to me to learn that. You already know that. You got to put the focus on you. If you want to get better at basketball, first of all, figure out what it is you want your game to be. What do you want your game to look like? Visualize it. See in your mind what you want Matthew at his highest potential to be. Second of all, Ask yourself what skills you need to develop that you don't have now that is going to close the gap between that vision and the reality of where you are right now. Third, you start developing those things. And when you're developing those things, you're going to be developing the mental edge. Because the mental edge to the physical edge is as three is to one. That's what Napoleon Bonaparte said, the great French general. The mental edge matters three times more than the physical edge. So what you're doing mentally matters a whole lot more than physically. The same thing when we talk about your opponents. If you're defeated mentally, it doesn't matter what skills you got physically. How many of you have seen a basketball player who is really big and really tall getting his ass kicked by a basketball player who is smaller than him? All of you have seen it happen before, right? So it's not impossible. Doesn't mean just because a basketball player is bigger than another basketball player that the bigger guy is going to win. We all know that that's not true. We've all seen that. That's not news to any of you. How many of you people seen a big guy get beat up in a fight by a person smaller than him? We've all seen it. Height does not equal success. Mentality equals success, Matthew. So that's what you need to focus on. We all know you need the skills. That ain't news. You already know that. You didn't come to me to learn that. So keep working on your skills, but start working on your mental game. That's the answer to that question, Matthew. Thank you for asking it. And Dev, no more information from you. <laughs> but nice try. That is it for the <clears throat> what should I do for this one. Any of you have a question for the next installment of what should I do? Leave it in the comments. Explain to me your situation. Give me some detail. Matthew was pretty brief, but give me some detail on your situation. The more detail you give me, the better answer I can give you. And I'm going to tell you what my advice is for what you should do. Work on your game. Dre all day. Com. Checking out this video. Make sure you follow all my top content up here. Follow me on all your favorite social networks right over here. And make sure you are subscribed to catch all the new content I put on on this channel every single day. Work on your game.